Jimmy Crane's an improv nerd. Part of it was they were the only game in town for like two or three years during this really critical period. So everybody who was talented and funny in New York glommed on to this. Not everyone, but in a, a huge number of people just sort of showed up. Now, would, you know, would they have succeeded uh, otherwise? You know, would Rob Corddry or Brian Husky or you know, Rob Regal or, or all these other people that went through there, uh, would they have succeeded uh, on their own? Maybe, they were all very talented, but it was more like, it was a magnet for really talented people to, to get together. But, it, but it's still continuing to be successful. And, and part of it, I think, is their, is their uh, philosophy. When you, get, when you get, go through the, the classes at UCB, you, you are usually pretty able to, to describe very tangibly what they've taught you. And I don't think that's true of a lot of places. You go through uh, improv programs, and you you might get a you might have like a, a an assembly of, of rules that you're you're trying to follow, uh, a bunch of different ideas, and it's sort of up to you to sort of put it together and synthesize. Which I guess that's always true in life. But when you go through the UCB, it's very much this thing of like we're going to teach you these this this principle, this idea of how to approach scene work, and uh, we're going to set you up to learn it in level one, we're gonna teach it to you in level two, and you're gonna reinforce it in every class you take after Did that. Did you have a hand in that? I, I'd always sure. heard that, that um, Ian Roberts was the one who wrote the stuff down, you know, the, uh, the, almost like the manifesto before they made it into a book. Well, he had a sheet that he gave out, a very clear, concise little two-page sheet that he gave out to his students and mm -hmm. that everybody in New York had a copy of, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and a lot of it was based on that. I don't really, you know, as far as, because I was already on board with their idea of game of the scene before I moved out there. I mean, it was part of the reason they hired me um, was because I was writing about game of the scene already on my website. And I'd studied with Besser, I knew Ian. So they, they knew my ideas, I think. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't remember long curriculum conversations with them at first. Uh, you know, I helped write a, an early version of their curriculum, um, but a lot of that was also just kind of talking with the people who were teaching for them at the time and trying to. The, we were all trying to synthesize what the UCB had taught them. <laughs>